Hi. Well, one of the problems that I see frequently in .NET solutions is that sometimes they have a lot of projects. I mean, 50, 100, 200 projects in a single .NET solution. That's really a lot and, and worries me because it indicates we are organizing our components in a in a bad way. Uh, in a wrong way. Uh, but before to detail why, why this, let me talk a bit uh, about um, two concepts, yes, coupling and cohesion. When we design software, when we design our components, uh, we are always looking for low coupling and high cohesion. The concepts are, are, are well known, but just to, to refresh um, our minds, uh, let me say that if a component A knows and needs a component B, both are coped. That means that when the component B change, probably component A has to change has to change too, and that throw a chain of changes uh, across our our software, and that's that's something that we really don't want to have. And um, for cohesion in, in our um, component, we understand that every method in our classes collaborate together to achieve only one thing. For example, if we have a class, an um, uh, email sender class, all its methods have to collaborate to do that, to send email and not for other things like save files or, 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 or um, I don't know. I mean, all the methods have to to collaborate to send emails. Yes. Well, these two concepts, uh, coping and cohesion, cohesion, um, are valid for our packages too. We want to have low coupling among packages, among assemblies, and high cohesion among they are uh, components. Yes. We really don't want that a change in um, assembly B throw changes in, in other assemblies. And we want that all the, the, the components or the classes in, a, in an assembly work together to achieve only one thing, yes. Um, to 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 understand how to have to how uh, we have to 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 organize our software, our assemblies. We only have to remember two basic, really basic rules. The first one is that. All components that are used together have to be packaged together. For example, if we have a, an email sender component and an email message component, yes, the, the email sender component needs and uses the email uh, message component, so they have to be packaged together. And components that change together, this is because they they know between them, they know one each other, they have to be packaged together too. If we remember those basic rules, we 
can start to organize our uh, our components in a better way and we will realize that those solutions with a lot of projects a lot of assemblies are are wrong and understand why they are wrong well that's all and thanks for watching